So uh, nine years ago, one afternoon, my parents were about to go out somewhere. I don't remember where or why, but I do remember that I really wanted a guitar. And it was a request totally out of the blue, and not even a genuine one. It was, it was a child whining. Um, so I didn't really expect too much of it. But later on, later that night, my parents came in with big smiles on their faces and a lumpy package. And I thought to myself, oh man, now I'm gonna have to put the time and effort to learn this thing. Uh, what have I done? It started out with uh, uh, boring classical guitar lessons and um, then playing fun pop songs with my friends, uh, doing various music programs at school, and then finally jamming with my buddies to non-mainstream songs. The non-mainstream is very important because that made us cooler than everyone else. <laughs> But I think the moment it changed for me was when I started songwriting. Um, through songwriting, I realized that music is an opportunity for us to express ourselves. Uh, music reflects the human desire to create and explore meaning. Uh, music is art. And art is simply a, an outlet for humans to interpret and communicate original ideas without the inconveniences of literal explanations. Um, so taking those ideas and interpreting them is what human translation is. So what I decided to do is to take three pieces of art um, and translate them into music. Uh, I know it's a strange concept, but stick with me here. So the first piece of art that I have is Van Gogh's 1889 uh, Starry Night. I'm sure everyone's pretty familiar with this iconic painting. I'm no art expert in any way. I'm sure my art teachers can testify. But I remember sitting down and trying to analyze the compositional elements of this painting. The first thing that I noticed was that the painting itself, the technique that was used was not an ordinary paint brush stroke. Uh, I had to do some research for this, but I looked it up and it uses this technique called, um, dang it, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, if any of you have taken an art class, it's when you apply paint to this thing and you like sp splatter it onto the canvas. Yeah, that's how good at art I am. Um, but after looking at this and trying to dissect the, the technique, I really wanted to take this idea and translate it to music. So I thought about how to do it and I came to a conclusion. So one musical technique is called a pad. And a pad is simply when you hold uh, certain notes or certain sounds uh, through it for an extended period of time. And a pad usually is used to create an atmospheric kind of ambient vibe. And it's very smooth and connected. So I drew a parallel here. I drew a parallel between a pad and uh, ordinary pa painting strokes and Van Gogh's impasto techniques. And this is what I came up with. So here, I have a little bit of audio that I can show you. And I'll walk you through my process of how I did this. Um, it's kind of funny, actually. So I was sitting with my computer in front of me and my MIDI keyboard, and I was thinking of what I could do, and I just hit record, and I just played random notes and random rhythms throughout the whole keyboard. And I stopped it, and I sat there for a second, kind of shocked at what I'd just done. Um, and then I played it back. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was is still pretty bad. And so in a last ditch effort to try and save this idea, I uh, bounced the MIDI into audio and then reversed the audio, put a bunch of effects on it, and I came up with this. And it creates, I think, a really cool um, out there vibe for the, for the rest of the track. Uh, so that's the first element of the track. I have that going through the whole way, kind of like uh, the painting technique that Van Gogh used here. Uh, the second part I chose to take from this artwork was the wind. Now this was kind of tricky. I thought about how can I represent wind in music? And my first thought was, I'm just gonna put sounds of wind. So I have sounds of wind here, um, and also I have a piano playing up and down a scale, and that sounds like this.
that's what it sounds like. Um, and the last part I chose to take was the moon and the stars. Um, now the moon and the stars, if you look here, they kind of have ripples around them. And this kind of made me think about uh, water and the rippling effect uh, that you can see. And so I simply took a glass marimba sound and I added a bunch of effects to create this uh, rippling effect. And the last thing to know is that um, the difference between visual art and music is that music is linear and you can't take your time and try to look at different parts of it. Uh, it all happens at the same time. So I wrote this track kind of like uh, left to right, if you know what I mean. Um, so let's have a listen to it. So there's the first track. Thank you, thank you. So the second piece of art that I have is a photograph taken in 1908 um, by this photographer named Lewis Hines, and it's called A Girl Worker in a Carolina Cotton Mill. It's not the greatest title, but it depicts the life of um, an industrial America where um, there weren't very many regulations, so children such as this girl had to work in the factories themselves. And this one, um, I didn't try to analyze uh, the elements or anything. I just sat there and I, I imagined myself being in her shoes. Um, being in a life that was so repetitive in its despair there's no emotion there. There's no emotion in her face because she's just so used to all the evils that happen. And so this one, I, I chose to have a more scenic approach. Um, the first thing I did with this track is that it's tuned down. So in, uh, in standard music, A is tuned to 440 uh, hertz, but this one I tuned down to 432, so that creates a darker mood for the whole track. Um, the next part I have are sound effects of spinning wheels. And this uh, is panned throughout, so it kind of creates this whole room. Uh, this is what it sounds like. And it just goes on <laughs> like that for a bit. Um, I have some other sound effects here, but I'm not gonna spoil them for you. Um, the next thing I have is a music box, and it's not a real music box, I just try to make one myself. I picked out a glockenspiel, which is just a, a bell, added a bunch of effects to it, and this is what it sounds like. And the last part I have is just a piano bit. Um, yeah, I don't wanna spoil too much. Let's have a, let's have a listen.
Thank you. Uh, a third piece of art that I chose to translate, I kind of cheated. It's not really art. Uh, it's a song, and it's a song called Old Friends by this artist named Ben Rector. Um, here's a short uh, excerpt of it. It's a chorus. Can you take me back where we were just kids? We were scared of getting older, yeah. There's no one knows you like they know you, but no one probably ever will. You can grow up, make new ones, but truth is, there's nothing like old. You can't make old friends. Yeah. And this song kind of made me reflect on my own life uh, as I'm in my last few months here with my family, with my friends at ICS, and made me think about my friends and uh, the memories that I've made. Um, so after our senior trip, which was just a couple weeks ago, uh, I remember asking the class videographer to send me some clips. Um, so he sent me some video clips of the trip. And I was able to take some of those tracks and uh, strip the video and just take the audio. And I don't want to say too much for this one. So let's just go ahead and have a listen. You take me back when we were just kids. You can't make old friends 